Welcome to the 112th video in our series about Unix tools. In this video, I will install the current version of Lua. The URL for the Lua software is shown, lua.org. Okay, let's get started. So if we went hunting for the website, we'd see something like this. And you can see that Lua 547 is the latest stuff. And you know, you might click on news and it tells you Lua 547 released. This is a bug fix release. So yeah, we want it. We definitely want it. But we don't see any link to how to get it here. So, you know, there's this. And you can look at the bottom left of the screen in tiny font is the Lua 547 Tar GZ. Okay. Do they have some kind of version control? And you might say, hmm, I'm looking about news, get started, download, documentate. Well, it's got to be in download. And you look at source and it says, hmm, all versions are available for download. Current version is 547. Here's the checksum. And nowhere do they talk about any sort of <clears throat> version control. Let's take a look up here. Source, binaries, previews, logos, tools. <clears throat> Nothing. So what's going to have to happen is we're going to have to take this archive and build from that, which is something we haven't done before. So I need that URL, and I'm going to say, you know, copy link. And then I'm going to jump back to my other window, and I'm going to make a place to work. So... I'm going to make uh, Lua City. And then I'm going to wget that file. You see the source code's small. There is the archive. So we don't have a git thing. We have an archive for an official release. How do we unpack that? I think we already know. We can do a gzip dc. And then we can do a tar x f and you'll see yes it's created some folder or some directory lua 547 and you might say well wait a minute maybe lua is already on the system command lua not found none of these versions these are the best available the best 5.4 is 5.4.6. We got 5.4.7, so we're going to definitely get a better Lua than any of these. If we can build it and run it and install it. So here we are. We don't have anything else to go on. Let's read the readme. And it says, installation instructions, everything else, go here. Doc, readme.html. All right. So I go to Doc. And I say vi uh, readme.html. I don't see it. Okay, this is a case sensitivity issue. There, oh no. You know, how am I supposed to? I can't read that. So let's try the links browser and see if we do any better. Okay, that's, I can read that. About Lua, installing Lua, that's us. Lua is distributed in source form. You need to build it before you use it. Yeah, we know all that. Okay. Implemented in pure ANSI C and compiles unmodified in all known platforms that have an ANSI C compiler. So, and it says if you don't want it, you can get it from Lua binaries. Trust me, the stuff on Lua binaries is... Your great grandpa's Lua. You don't want it. So how do we build it? Open a terminal window. Move to the top level directory. We did that. Do make. The make file will guess your platform and build Lua for it. And then they talk about what happens if it doesn't work. Okay. So make XXX where XXX is your platform name. So our platform is Linux, right? That's, that's pretty clear. So, I think we go with Linux. 
Posix, generic, or C89 in this order. So I'm looking, and, you know, okay, they're telling me don't choose Linux, choose Posix, and that's the best of the not listed. But Linux is listed. So I'm going with Linux. I'm going to say make Linux. Okay, and then it should have three files, Lua, Lua C, and liblua.a. And we should do a make test. Okay, I think I'm ready. Make Linux. It says, I don't have any, any information on how to make Linux. And you look, and we're still in the documentation directory. Bad John. Okay, it's doing stuff. Okay, they said to look for three files. I don't see them. Let's look in source. Okay, there's Lua, there's Lua C, there's LibLua. Those are the files they said we needed. The next thing they said was run a make test. And we didn't get much, but there it is. If we do a Lua minus V, it shows 547. Okay. I built it, but I don't know what prefix or anything. I don't know how to install it. So we have to go back. And we know that was in uh, docs. Or doc. Docs, I think. Okay, installing. Make test. We did that. Installing. After you have built Lua, you may want to install it. Make install. They're defined in the make file. Uh-huh. To install Lua locally, that's us. Do a make local. Make install install top equal XXX. Wow. Okay. You know, they're telling me stuff way after it's too late. Okay, so we've cleaned it out. We don't have any .o. We don't have any Lua, any of that stuff. Let's go into the make file. This doesn't have a configure. You edit the make file directly. Okay, install top. Clearly, we don't want user. We'd like to have home. Home local. Okay. And we had dot local. Home dot local. I don't know what the V is. Neither do you. But we're going to try that. So we did a make Linux. That seemed to work. Make test. That seems to work. Make minus n install. It's trying to put everything in home local. Home John local, which is what we want. So get rid of the minus n. Okay, now let's do a Lua. Yeah, we're in. 547. At this point, you may not know anything about Lua, but at least we built it. So if we come back here, get started. Welcome, installing, learning, building from source, getting help. Okay, programming Lua and as an ebook. First edition available online. Uh, documentation page, wiki page. I don't know. Let's go with documentation. Reference manual, books, papers. And of course, this project funds itself by selling the books. Which you're in, if you're like me in Thailand. There's no way you're going to find this book in any bookstore because Thailand bookstores don't sell books. They sell pins and candy and stuff like that. They don't sell books anymore. So, hmm, 
when you when you're looking at this and you're thinking man what am i gonna do other books lua in eight hours you know let's click on that and again they want you to pay money and you're never going to find it in thailand if you try to order it customs or the post office will steal it those people steal everything they didn't nail down so and again you can't blame them uh the the authors need to make money somehow right but we are poor and we need answers now even if we did the right thing and ordered the book and somehow it got here it would take a month i don't have a month i want to do something now so i'm going to type in uh lua hello world example hello world lava tutorial dev hq and they've got some other stuff tutorials point packed you know Hello World and Lua. Okay, this is one year ago. Let's try it. Oh, all this crap. Don't you just hate the modern web? Okay. Lua's great. Okay, we know all that. Install it. We did all that. Dude. They said, put this into a, a file. Okay. And, you know, we're kind of stuck. Try a control D. If you're on, on Linux, control D is the end of file. That usually works. Okay. We've told it to go look on the path, run the Lua you find, and feed it this stuff. Okay, that's the code. And hello Lua has read, write, execute for the user. And I've decided to let other people run it if they want to. Will it work? Of course it does. So we've done a hello world, but you notice it's missing the ex exclamation point that we had in our other versions okay that's enough you could start playing with with Lua and of course you wouldn't really want to do it here <clears throat> as a matter of fact we don't need this stuff anymore we've installed it already you could keep it around if you wanted to but I don't have enough disk for that. So I've deleted that. I've made this read only so that if I had to rebuild it again because I broke something, I've got the same code I used last time and I have successfully accomplished the goal, which is install Lua locally, the latest version, test it, make sure it works so I can learn how to do Lua. Now finding documentation online might take a little work but you can see it is out there. It's not wonderful but it is out there. Maybe you try something a little bit more sophisticated and of course this is not much better but it is something. If you go to tutorials point they show you a little bit, and then they start to show you more, which is way better. The tutorials point stuff is usually pretty good to get started. Okay, we've completed this video. I want to uh, encourage you to come back for our next video, which will be something completely different. But until then, thank you for listening.